was at Huntington Beach. Guess what? I was thinking I was going to sit over here by one of these trees tonight like I normally do. I, if I leave the beach, you know, because they close at, uh, when the sun go down. And it's about nine, nine something. But I was about to come out here when I left from up there at the tennis courts and stuff. I was about to come sit over here by one of them trees over here. Had I not had to go to the bathroom, I probably would have been sitting over here when this happened. But I was probably going to be over at this tree right here. But the accident is over here at this tree. But what's telling me, what all of this is telling me, uh-uh, this is not a good place. I was just going to try to find somewhere on the grass, the lake, because, I, you know, I wouldn't be at the beach or at the park up here. I'd be, like, right here, you know, it's too, it's too close to the, to the highway. It's too close to the, to the street. This is the street that goes to the bridge over here. And um, I'm not going to try to do this. Oh, boy. That kind of, ooh, gave me a, a rush when I heard that um, motorcycle cranking up. That's a whole lot of doggone noise. Go on away from here with that noise. Bye. Get the hell on out of here with that noise. It looked like the tree. Okay, the truck right there. I heard boom, boom, boom. Like three, three cars. Um, sound like it was more. But it must be a car in front of this white car. I'm not going close up there to it. But... Then that truck probably tried to stop and it hit that white car and then the white car ran into this, the one in front. Oh, let's go. I don't want to hear the noise. I don't want to hear these sirens. Let's go. I'm about to go. I don't even really want to get close enough to see what happened. I don't want to get close enough. I don't even want to do it. No, thank you. But there will be some lawsuits because these people got hit in the back. But, you know, it's the reaction time. You know, they're too close to each other. And the reaction time was so little. And it was like, this is, it led to this accident. Because they didn't have enough reaction time to stop their vehicle. I don't, I, I just, all I heard, when I heard stuff like this, I just cried out, Jesus. I hollered, Jesus, help your people. Help your people. I I'm praying for myself, too, while I'm saying help your people, because I'm God's people. I'm one of God's children. But I don't know if anybody that was in this accident was the children of the Most High, or who they were. I don't know. Was they uh, sons of perdition? I don't know what they were. I don't know. But it just kind of made me to, um, you know, be more aware right now and so it, it gave me the unction just to pray a few words and this dumb negro was over there talking about some weak woman and, and leave him alone i said I'm, I'm i said look shut up if you're not gonna say anything good if you don't have anything good to say shut up don't say nothing to me and he's a fool he's a fool that's all over here at the beach. I'm over here because this is my normal place that I go to. I'm outdoors. I'm out here tonight, baby. I don't even want to be out here. But thanks. I was with my roommate, but he had his end, of, his end of the bargain. He had his money, but I didn't have mine because some kind of mishap with the mail and some kind of mishap with um, I don't know. some. I don't know if it was somebody intentionally trying to hold my stuff back from me, but it should have been there. I gave it three days, three mail days, three mailing days to get my stuff. And I, I said, oh, well, I'm going to get it. I'm going to bring it, and I'm, I'm going to pay the money. But it wasn't there. It wasn't there. So hmm. usually I'm supposed to have it two, two days after it posts. I don't care. I don't want to talk about my business like this. It's my business, y'all. This is my business. Hood. And then 
he probably over here talking about me, weak woman and all that, still the weak ass bitch. You a fool! If you out here talking about me, you don't know me, bitch! I wish they would get the hell out of my face with this stupid mess. Stupid people, narcissistic people with uh, personality disorders because you have to be crazy, half crazy to enjoy picking on people for no reason. I um, hope them damn officers heard me too because these police are uh, one of the facilitators of gang stalkers. They like gang stalkers because I hear, I, I can read lips and I can hear their thoughts because they are low vibrational people. Guess what? I, so I'm walking from the Walmart up here on Jefferson. And then guess what? I saw the police, about three police cars you know, right behind each other. They went to the light, went through the, you know, through the traffic light. And I could read their lips talking about something. I don't want the weak woman. And I heard, I saw it. I heard it. I might not have heard it, but I, but I read I could read their lips. I was looking right at them. They was close enough where I could read their lips. And they're so low vibrational that I could hear their thoughts. I'm done with this. I'm really done. I'm tired of it dealing with this crazy crap. They trying to do it on the down low, like just try to do it low enough just so I can hear it or just about hear it or they just doing it, trying to put it in their phone so they can go ahead and send it to their little whoever kookly captain that they send it to, whoever loved to do this foolishness and, and going along with this bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. That's all it is. It's bullshit from these stupid ass damn people. Why are these people coming through here? Is anybody that one of their loved ones out here that been in the accident or what? I don't know why they're here. I really don't. I'm sitting up here thinking, okay, they out here doing this stuff because I'm out here. Or they just being nosy. Ain't no need for them to be around here. And I mean, like, why they still got lights on shine? I don't care, but I'm like, I don't even want to be bothered with folks sometimes. Because I'm like, here go the cops. Oh, car cops pointing right over here at me and stuff like that. I'm, I don't really care for these people. I don't care for these type people. I just want them to leave. If you're a gang stalker, leave me the fuck alone. Get the fuck away from me. Don't you never let me hear you say anything about calling somebody a weak bitch, weak woman, weak this and, and ugly this. And I don't want to hear none of it. Get out of here with that foolishness. Stupid is what stupid does. And y'all gang stalkers do stupid shit. You gang stalkers do stupid ass shit. And I'm done with them. I'm gone, y'all.